Gotta give credit where the credit is due. Dwarves make some funny gizmos. So, let's see how well they work out when uh, piloted by an orc, shall we? Little indie game project that I saw and looked pretty damn good. I've been given a key by the devs. So, thank you kindly to the small indie team for believing that I can potentially do anything good for your game. If this game looks good to you, consider it. I mean, the animation already looks really cool. Plus, I can always appreciate a fellow redhead. Is this, uh, like, I can't 100% tell if it's 2D animation on top of, like, rotoscope 3D models as a reference, or if it's actually a really weird shader that looks impressively 2D. Either way, the animation looks cool, in my opinion. So I am totally down. And we're having a rough time now. We fall! Dragon in our beard. Little baby dragon. You're still breathing. Oh shit! The dragon oh, talks. Boys. That's Nicholas Meg. That's what I call good dwarf work. I'm 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 pulling his dick. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Now here's a question. I have like a pickaxe. Half half regular axe, half pick. It's the handle is slightly clipping into the ground, but do I swap it around? Yes, I do. Yes, I'm happy. Happy, happy, happy. Main base. I have to build it right here. Uh, I guess I ain't really got much else. All right, we'll build it here. So we're doing a lot of our gathering in a mech as opposed to straight on the ground. We'll do extract mana. All right, so I guess the robot runs on mana. That makes pretty absence. Convenient fuel source. This looks like a good place to dig. Wait a moment. Look at these scratches. Somebody has been here before us. A rock must have broken off. That's it. These are wild plans. We are the first to explore here. What's that sound? That is a demonic beastie from purple. Something, something that doesn't want to be our friend. Okay, I can dodge. You got a lot of movement in this combat, it seems. All right, it just spamming it. There's a timing for combat. Sure. Fire. Oh, so we actually do get to play as our little uh, dragony friend. All right. Got a mono well here. And I build another one over here. Wood. Ah. All right. Sort of gotta line yourself up properly for it to really work. All right, I get it. It has a limited range on how far you can put it. That seems to work. Have resources, sawmill. Okay. I need to actually put it near this forest area. to build a stone mine in the quarry and connect it to the pipeline. We said you could fix that all day. Work first, play later. All right, we can just do that. Correct right, connection. The sun is setting. Oh, good. We still haven't prepared for unwanted guests. Expecting someone? All the filthiest things in this world. Like oh, you can double up, sort of. I can build a fire, but I'm afraid you won't make it. We could use some defensive turrets. Let's hurry up, my poor defenseless truth. 
All right, we got defenses. I need more wood. The tutorial gave me enough wood to do uh, what I needed, but I built an extra thing of... Uh... Oh, that's iron. All right. There is no timing on resourcing. It's just click and hold. All right. like to put one as close as possible to bending this. All right. If I do a bit of harvesting, it seems. Um, I'm assuming I need to, uh, connect it. That is... That is not what I meant to do. Or that I mean to do this one particularly. Right. Now it wants me to build walls. Can I put stuff on the corners here. Alright, this is pretty intuitive. Should be safe now. Whatever comes close to this turret will regret it. And if the turret shoots at us? That won't. I will keep silence, but remember, it's an anxious kind of silence. I'll put a gate there, probably. Assuming I'm. Ooh, the smell! <sighs> true. Something really, really bad is going on here. Name is I true. Can see that. All right. Monsters are coming out of this nest. It's not about the monsters. Something much worse. As if all magic in this place. We have to destroy the nest. Otherwise, the settlers don't stand a chance. Otherwise, nobody stands a chance. Uh, note to self, I probably want to have uh, defenses. Here. I'm just gonna clear out this entire area. Yeah, make space for everything if we're gonna have houses and whatnot. Plus, I'm also gonna wanna finish up some more wall. I can jump. I can't jump very high, though. I'm going to assume I might be able to get some sort of upgrade for my mech here and be able to do better. I have to go. Oh, there. Are they arriving up here? That is an inconvenient place. I have to run all the way over there. All right. Go for a mech jog. Ooh. Whoop. Aw, oh, come on. Can't even... Oh, motherfuck. Everything is in the way. Cutscene. All right. Didn't have to get all the way up there. Or folks dropped off. Alright, a cutscene skips me over there. Hello. Interesting dwarf greeting. Oh, what sorcery did you just commit? Okay, okay. I, the head of this guild, congratulate you on achieving your first task as first dwarf. 
I'm going to fulfill my duty to the end. True. And while flying the ship, I sensed a foul scent from the nearby island. Perhaps this is a lead for preparing the next grounds for settlement. Thank you, mother. Don't forget that convincing non-king chiefs of other guilds will not be such an easy task. Oh, so she's my mom, I guess. For the sake of our plan, I hope to succeed. I will succeed. Take this blueprint. This building can discover new technology that will help you in your journey. Alright. Can I, uh, do I actually get anything if I manually mine this? That is the question. I do. All right. Oh, I have to be in the mech in order to upgrade this. Look, I didn't want to interrupt the satisfaction of new discoveries, but your mother was right. There is a mysterious smell coming from that island. I think it's All right. good time to continue our journey. Alright. Well, we got an auto setup transportation mechanism thing to jig. Okay. A little bit of a puzzle. We got two of them going. Okay, that's the wrong way. It's stealing my mech! Done. Oh. Let's see if this system works. Oh, maybe we can ride on a minecart. There we go. We ride. You definitely see this is the kind of game that I would spend a while on. Getting immersed in doing survival crafty stuff, but I think I'm gonna call it about here. There are a couple other adventures in this little area that we still need to do. I like the characters so far. Dialogue can be a bit plain, but you know. Yeah, stuff happens. Hopefully, it looks good to you, especially if you're uh, of the inclination of enjoying this genre. My feedback would be to add some ability to just use stamina to charge to uh, harvest faster and in a wider area because that's effectively what I'm doing here. But I have to do some weird shit in order to get it to actually work. Plus, I can't really do this with stone. There's a bit of an inconsistency with what buttons do what. Control does repair while you're inside of the mech, but F does repair when you're outside of the mech. Some of that should probably be streamlined a little bit. Have one button that is generally repair, especially on mouse and keyboard, because we have a bunch of buttons available. That would be nice. Hopefully I'll find this game interesting looking. I like the art style. I like the direction. There are some things that should be streamlined a little bit better, but overall, it looks like a pretty solid game. Thanks for your time. Peace out.